Take your Bibles, if you would, please, and turn It's love, so we're going to be talking about love. Uh, but you know, when you're dealing with when you're dealing with the Lord Jesus Christ and you're dealing with His people, you're already talking about love automatically. So consider this to be just you know, it, it, it's an opportune moment. To talk about it. It's really easy to talk about the love. The Bible gives us. want to sit and talk so I have a little we'll have a little taints
What do you think of free love? Okay. For a minute. But the reality is that love really... Something. Exciting times. That's really, that's kind of awesome, you know? Think about it. I mean, like, hey, this is really a grand entrance. You come down from the mountain carrying stone tablets. Who wrote that? Oh, God wrote that for you. Just see so it, have it. But the. I'm here. There's no change in their intent. I want you to understand that even the intent of the commandments of the Old Testament, very similar to the commandments, the intent of the commandments in the New Testament. See, even in the New Testament, the Bible tells us. We need, we, do, we have to.
that you're joining. one of use makes me crazy i have i have a daughter that you know artistic talent I can draw it's in a ruler I have a Some, but but the real but.
I call. And Jesus says, no greater love. Doesn't get no bigger. That's it. That's, 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 the, that's the love. No greater love. say this. Is there a difference? Yes. Laying down your life, mate.
calls you his friend. Folks, that's awesome. I can't imagine that. It's just like there are times there are times when I think I'm 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 not really like think about that. Think about it. and and it just and it just kind of uh, kind of leaves me kind of leaves me alone. Him. People that are consumed and obsessed with the outside are always missing the real commandments. They're missing them. Look here. So they had this commandment, and he answered them well, and he asks Jesus, and I'm going to the heart of the matter. It goes deeper. Asking Jesus questions can get you in deeper than you think. <laughs> it's the way he works. <laughs> he has the letter, and he gets down into the intent. That's why in, in Hebrews 4.12 it says that the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any full in spirit, and it is, and it is a, and here's the part, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Jesus always gets below the surface and down into the heart of the matter. The surface is not where he's concerned. It's what's driving our outside actions from the inside. It's why Christianity is different than religion. Jesus saves us. 
He doesn't change the outside. He changes the inside. If the change on the inside results in a change on the outside, then it's the work that he's doing from the inside. But it's always from the heart outward, not from the outside in. That's religion. Religion. Dress them up, clean them up, up, and have them just as lost and on the way to hell as they were before they were cleaned up, dressed up, and shined up. God does deal. God doesn't work. God doesn't do things like the world does it. And when people complain about the world being in the church, tell them it's not about the externals. It's about the inside. It's all about the inside. That's how. That's where Jesus works. That's it, folks. Not concerning ourselves with the externals. Not concerning ourselves with the ritualistic. Not concerning us. Listen, the law, the law and the command. There's only one person who ever lived who could keep them all, and he did. And he did them not for his sake, but for our sake, so that he could. And then. To haunt us. You want to find out where the law is? It's nailed to his cross. Do you want to be you want to get out the crowbar and try to pry that off? I'm not interested. <laughs> we got carp we have carpenters in here. They have crowbars. They're not interested <laughs> in, in prying that off. They want to leave it right where it is, nailed to the cross where it can't where it can't hurt us anymore. In John 13, don't bother turning there. John 13, 34 through 36, he says this. A new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you that you also love one another. And then in verse 35, this.
you know what? That's part. around the inside instead of the outside. And the we become themselves. No matter what you do, there's no making him happy. There's never enough. There's never enough. There will never be enough. You can't love him enough. You can't give them enough. You can't help them enough. You can't perform enough. They'll make you absolutely nuts. So, and I have experience, trust me. <laughs> you can't deal with that kind of people. This is not what we're talking about. This is not what God is talking about. Except. Kind, it's all the that all those attributes roll in. But You love me, love you. They're all over you. That's why I think that's why I think that a lot of the reason why.
toys. Who go and tell other bro where to find the ultimate toy repair. We're all broken in some way. But Jesus, if we judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But if we do not judge ourselves, he will chasten us. I don't like to be spanked. It's not high on my list of things that I like. It's not there. <laughs> Sorry. Not part of it. ourselves so we are not knotted up and tied up with guilt because guilt guilt causes a lot of problems and i'm not telling you not to be listen if we do bad if we do evil to someone else we should feel bad about it but if guilt becomes part of our operating system we're going to be handicapped in our ability. particularly god's love to whom others Others. So, we
all I saw in my life from adults. And I thought, why should I listen to you? Now, the 60s were an interesting time to be a teenager. There's a general rebellion going on. The general rebellion is huge and it's getting bigger by the minute. But that stage of my And what get into it. and hit because he couldn't take his eyes off it oh, where you're looking and, and you're evil and it's some you might run right into it why the forgiveness business is so important and until we can forgive we wind up, we wind up, we stand in danger of becoming in the process. Fulfill the commitment. How do I honor my father? Seriously. 